Here's how to dynamically set an audio source to an audio mixer group in Unity. I have a simple scene set up with a cube, a plane, and an audio music file I've imported. First, I'll add an audio source to the cube and drag in our audio clip. Now we need to assign an audio mixer group to our cube's audio output. Let's create a new audio mixer group by navigating to the window tab in the toolbar, navigating to audio, and selecting audio mixer. Here you can see I already have a few mixers in my project from the standard assets package. But let's create a new mixer for our cube by selecting the plus icon. Let's name this mixer background music. Now let's create our group by selecting the plus icon under the group tab. I'll name this group music. Now we can assign this group to the cube by selecting the cube and dragging this group onto the cube's output variable. If we hit play, we can see in fact that our cube is playing through the music group. If we delete the mixer group from our output, the music still plays but not through our mixer group. Let's assign the mixer group to our audio source's output in a C -sharp script. First I'll create a new script by right clicking in the project panel, navigating to create, and selecting C -sharp script. Then I'll double click the script to open it in Visual Studio. Let's create a public audio source variable named audio source and a public audio mixer group named audio mixer group. Yeah, I know I'm very creative with my variable names. We can assign the cube's output mixer group by accessing the output audio mixer group variable from the audio sources component, setting it equal to our audio mixer group variable. Now let's return to Unity and I'll drag the audio controller script we wrote onto the camera. Then I'll drag in our cube as the audio source variable and the music mixer group into the mixer group variable. As you can see, the cube's output audio mixer group is still empty, but when we run our code, the mixer group is changed from none to the group we set in our audio controller script.